Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this session, we will deep dive into the reach text widget. So without wasting time, let's get started. When we use normal text widget to create the text, we can apply only single style and that single style will be used by entire text present in the text widget. On the other hand, when we use this reach text widget, it's possible to create the text that can have different style and we can apply that style for the different part present in the single text itself. Whatever text or content that we specify inside this rich text, it has to be provided in the form of inline span. Basically, inline span is not a kind of widget, rather it is a normal class and using this inline span, we can create the part of text or part of content inside a paragraph. This inline span has two popular subclasses. One is the text span and another one is the widget span. Now, if you want to create some text with desired text style, we can use the text span. And if you want to construct some widget inside the text, then we can use the widget span. Just look at this example. This particular UI is constructed by using the rich text. This balance and the amount, they are actually the text span which are placed inside the rich text object. The register text is actually a clickable text which is created by using the text span and it is actually passed inside the rich text object. Moreover, we can pass any widget such as the icon inside text itself by using the object called widget span. Now let me construct the first UI by using the rich text. First of all, let me delete coming from here. This is what we have written a simple flat application. This is the import statement. This one is main function. Inside main, I'm calling run app. Inside run app, I have passed the object of my app. This my app class is created by extending the stateless widget. Inside this my app class, we have build method. Inside the build method, simply I'm returning the object of Myrtle app. And as a home of this Myrtle app, we have written a scaffold. Now, inside this scaffold, for the body, I'm specifying a center widget here. And for the center widget, we have the property called child. And as a child of the center widget, let me write a reach text. Now, if you look at the reach text properly, this reach text constructor has the property called text. And this text must be in the form of inline span. Now, as we have seen, this inline span class has two popular constructor, text span and the widget span. Now, apart from this text property, this rich text class has much more properties. So, we already seen this property called text align, text direction, soft wrap, overflow, and text scale factor also. If you want to get more information about this property, watch the video provided in the description. Now, let me use a text property here. For this text, I'm passing the object of text span here. Let me write text span. Then inside this text span, we have the property called text here. Now, as a text, let me pass the value called balance. Now you can see we are getting error here. Now, in order to resolve this error, simply we have to remove the const from this metal app. Now we need to paste the const again here. Now when I save the code, you can see there is no change appeared on the screen. The reason here is for a rich text constructor, we must have to specify the style property explicitly that can have the color and the size of your font. So let me use the style property here. For this style, we have to pass the object of text style. And inside this text style, first of all, let me use the font size here. So I will use font size of 20 pixel. And let me use the color here. So as a color, I'm passing the color called black 87. Let me add the additional comma and the comma here. And let me format the code. When I save the code, you can see I will get balance on the screen. Now below this balance, I want the specific amount here. Now in order to, in order to get this, first of all, let me write slash n after the balance. For this text span constructor, we have the property called text using which we can provide a text to the display on the screen. We have the property called style using which we can style the text. And moreover, we have got one more property that is called children. And it actually requires the list of inline span here. So let me pass the list here. Uh, basically, using this children property, we can construct the tree of inline span or you can say the tree of text. Let me again pass here a text span. Now, inside this text span, I'm passing a text and this text is actually the amount. So, first of all, let me use the rupee symbol. Then, I need to pass the amount. So, let's say I'm passing 9,12,735 rupees. Let me save the code and you can see the change on screen. Now, for this amount, I just want to pass the size as 30 and the color called blue. So for this, again, I need to specify the style here. Then for this style, we have to pass object of text style here. Inside this text style, first of all, let me use the font size. 
So I will use font size called 30. Let me use the color and I will apply the colors called blue here. Let's save and we get the changes on the screen. Now let's understand how to create this clickable text by using the text span inside the reach text widget. First of all, let me delete the content inside this center widget. So I have selected this specific portion and just delete it. Now as a child of the center widget, again I'm passing the object of reach text here. For the reach text, we have to pass the property called text. Again, I'm writing the object of text span here. Then as a text span, we have the property called text here. And let me pass the text called don't have an account. Now let me apply some style here. So we need to provide the style and for this style we have to write the object of text style here. Inside this text style, first of all, let me specify the font size. So I will use font size of 20 pixel and then let me use color. And here I'm passing, let's say the color called black 87. Let me save the code, format it and you can see the changes on screen. Now we want the registered text which is actually a clickable text. So for this, let me add the extra space here and we have the property called children inside this text span. So as a children, I'm passing again the object of text span here. Now let me use text span and inside this text span, we have the property called text. For this text, I'm writing a register. Now you can see this registered text and this don't have an account, they both are looking similar. The reason here is this specific text span is actually acts as the child of this main text span. So whatever property that we pass here inside the parent, it will be acquired by the child if it is not overridden. So let me override the property. For this, I will use the style here. Then let me pass here the text style object. Then inside this text style, let me use the font weight here. So I'm using here font weight. So I will use here, let's say the font weight in the form of, let's say W500 and let me pass the color. So here I will pass, let's say the color called orange. Let me use the additional comma and format the code. You can see this register text appeared in the orange color along with the bold face. Now let me make this register as a clickable text. For this, we have to use a property called recognizer inside this text span. So let me use recognizer. Now, as a value of this recognizer, I'm passing the object of tab register recognizer. So let me create object here. Let me use the cascade operator and I'm using the property called on tab here. For this on tab, I'm passing the anonymous function here. And inside this function, let me write a print statement and I will write here simply, let's say, view tab. Let me open the debug control by using control J. Then we need to restart this application in order to just get this clickable option. Let me erase the data inside this debug console and just click on this register button and you can see we're getting output do tapped. Now let me explain how we can add the widget inside the text by using the object of widget span inside the reach text widget. Let me close the debug console and let me delete the data inside the central widget. So let me select up to this reach text and I have deleted the data here. And now as a child of the central widget, again, I'm passing an object called the reach text. For the reach text, we have to specify the text here. And as a text, I'm passing the object of text span here. Then inside this text span, again, we have the property called text here. Then for this text, I'm passing the text called the subscribe. Let me apply some style for this text. For this, we have to use style. And as a value of this style, we have to pass object of text style. Inside this text style, I'm passing the font size. So let's use font size, let's say 20. And let me pass the color. So I'm passing color object in the form of, let's say, colors dot black 87. So I will use here black 87. Save this code, format this properly, and we are good to go. Now, after this subscribe text, we want a bell notification button. For this, we have to use the children property of this text span. So let me jump inside the text span and we have the property called children here. So let me use children and it actually requires a list. So let me pass the object called widget span here. So I will use your widget span. Then inside this widget span, we have to pass the child and as the child, I'm passing the icon here. So let me write here icons dot and the icon that I want to use is actually the notification active outline and format the code and save it. 
let me apply the size and color for this icon for this i need to use the size and i will use let's say size here 30 and let me use a color and i can use color like say colors dot blue now this bail icon and the text must be aligned in the middle for this let me use a property called alignment inside this widget span and for this alignment we have to pass the object in the form of placement alignment you can see here we have the placement alignment here let me use here placement alignment and i will use dot the option called middle so let me save here and you can see this bail icon and the text they are now in the middle that's it for this video if you really like the way i am explaining the concept then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos